Well, our trip around England now brings us about 200k south of the Lake District to Manchester for a bit of culture. It has undergone a huge facelift since an IRA bombing in 1996 and Manchester is now called Britain's second city after London because of its economic growth and thriving art scene. So what do we know about Manchester? The Industrial Revolution, Man United soccer team, the fact that we've imported so much linen from here that in Australia we actually call it Manchester. Well, either which way, this city is not famous for its landmarks, but more its rhythm. Experience best in a music tour. Craig Gill, one-time drummer of a band called Inspiral Carpets, runs the Manchester Music Tour, which gives you a chance to experience the city through its soundtrack. The so famous for its music. Manchester's always had a great pedigree of bands going back to the 60s. It's got a great industrial heritage. Um, bands like the Sex Pistols came here to free trade all, and that inspired a whole new generation of Manchester bands such as the Smiths, Joy Division and Simply Red. Now, I know we don't usually drag you halfway across the planet on getaway to show you a motorway, but this is Manchester and there is a story on every corner. Joy Division came here for a very famous uh, photo shoot in 1979, which became the most iconic photograph of Joy Division. Um, they used it on their uh, greatest, greatest Hits album and uh, they're going to rename this bridge um, the Ian Curtis Memorial Bridge after the singer that sadly died in 1980. Walking around Manchester, it is no wonder music is such a big part of life here. Nearly half the population of the city centre are students, who you will see everywhere when they're not at one of Manchester's three universities. Today was gonna be the day, but they'll never throw it back to you. Most people on the tour are hanging out for the Oasis stops, and this is the old neighbourhood of Noel and Liam Gallagher. This is uh, Sifter's record shop, and this is where the Gallagher brothers used to come and buy all their uh, inspiration. Sifter's record shop, just up the road from the family home, was so influential on the Gallagher brothers, they even mention it in one of their songs. Final stop on our music tour is the Dry Bar in the city's trendy northern quarter, home to many of Manchester's bands and a place from which bad boy Liam Gallagher is still barred. Noel, however, actually auditioned for Craig's band but was told he wasn't good enough. So we um, had to break it to him gently and we said, well, you've not got the job as singer, but you can come and be our roadie. And he was like, yeah, OK. Well, I'm loving the stories. Well, there you have it. What an unbelievable journey from the nation's capital to having a bath in Bath, from a miniature village to a high and mighty castle with a happy ending. But there's more to the UK than just England. And next week, Nat's got Scotland covered. Ben is exploring Northern Ireland and Doom is driving through Wales. So as they say in this neck of the woods, sorted. Emirates has flights to Manchester starting at $1,818 from Perth, $1,821 from Melbourne and Adelaide, $1,840 from Sydney and $1,842 from Brisbane. These prices are available only online to the first 100 people to book, so log on to emirates.com forward slash getaway.